Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to authenticate user with the help of OTP with the help of Firebase in our Flutter web application. In a previous video which we have posted a couple weeks before, we just discussed about the same concept but with the changes that we will be authenticating the user with the help of email id. But in this tutorial we will be focusing on how to authenticate the user with the help of OTP which is sent to the uh, mobile number what the user have entered over here in the UI right and we'll be discussing about the same okay let's first have a quick demo uh, now you see here in this output screen we have a single text field and a button which is used to send OTP to the number what the user types over here okay so let me just enter a mobile number over here in this text field and as soon as I click the submit OTP, sorry, send OTP, you can see the OTP to that particular phone number what the user have entered and I have just received a OTP. And so let me enter a OTP which I have received. Now let me just hit the submit button. You see here, we have just successfully authenticated and uh, so I have just made I haven't made a, another screen to navigate for navigate further. So just I just made a, a simple console statement stating we have this uh, we have successfully authenticated and to make sure you can just go to the Firebase console. In the Firebase console or here we have no entry initially, but upon successful authentication, if you cl click the refresh button, you can see that for the corresponding mobile number what I have entered an entry a particular entry is created in this. Uh, list right so you can with the help of this we can make sure that the user have successfully authenticated with the help of the OTP what the user have entered in the UI right hope you got a good overview about how the process works with this idea let's move on to the coding part to perform OTP authentication you need to create a project in your Firebase console you can just create, name the project and create the project with the initial setup and after creating the project you can move to this authentication tab in the left sidebar and you will be able to see the list of four tabs over here in the top first let's move on to the sign in method in this sign in method you will be able to choose a list of uh, sign in methods from that is uh, since we have already enabled this phone number you are just able to see this uh, phone number authentication alone but if it is a new project then you will be able to get a list of options like uh, sign in with mobile numbers sign in with sorry sign in with otp sign in with email id sign in with google plus sign in with apple multiple things so you can just toggle whatever option you can for, you want for now we can just stick with the phone number alone by doing so your firebase project is now ready to generate and validate the user with the help of the otp and let's move to the users tab over here in this tab is where you will be able to see the list of users who have successfully authenticated with the help of your flutter web application you will be able to see their phone number your their user id their sign in time everything by which you can make sure that the user has successfully authenticated with the help of your flutter web application okay well that's it that's how you can just set up your firebase console for authenticating using otp for testing purpose, uh, Firebase provides up to 50 uh, OTPs, that is 50 SMS OTPs per day. And if you want to just uh, extend that, you can move on to the billing account, right? So initially, I am in the free version. You can just move to the billing account if you want to take your project to the real-time application. First, we need to add a following package which is Firebase Auth. So, add this package in your pass pack on Dolby 6 for the latest version. And after adding this package, let's move to the web folder. Since we are focusing on Flutter web application, we just need to provide the Firebase credential over here in the index.html file. Right? You just provide your Firebase credentials over here in the index.html file. You can get the Firebase credential over from the Firebase console by creating a project in the Firebase. Right? And after doing so, um, let's move to the main.dat file and uh, as usual we have a simple stateless widget class and uh, the home points to my home page. And here in the my home page we have a si simple UI that is two text fields and a boolean variable just to toggle between whether to show the OTP text field or not. And uh, it's a simple one, here is the rendering process that is this 
here we'll be rendering the for number text field and based upon the cancel boolean variable we'll be either displaying the otp text field in series or else we'll be just rendering a size box right and same with the help of that boolean variable we'll be checking we'll be just rendering initially a send otp button and upon pressing this button the we'll be toggling this cancel boolean variable and the set otp button will be switched back to the submit button okay and so first let us just discuss about the set otp how to make a, a otp from the firebase and the set otp button is written out here and as said before inside the on press event it will be toggling between the cancel boolean variable thereby we will be able to view this uh, otp text field okay and by uh, and similarly we will be making a call to the uh, send otp function which is written down inside the firebase authentication class and where you need to pass in the phone number what the user has entered in the text form field right so let's move on to the send otp function and the send otp function is over here it is very simple one right here we just initially create an instance for the firebase auth and uh, with the help of the confirmation result and with the help of firebase auth instance which we have already created we will be making use of the sign in with phone number method okay so this is sign in with phone number method is only available for the web platforms if you are going to have for the native one like android or ios you just need to make use of the verify phone number method okay and uh, since we are dealing with the web application we make use of the sign in with phone number method and pass in the phone number what the user have entered or we, what we got from the parameter over here right by doing so the firebase will be providing an otp or will be sending an otp to the registered phone number what you have provided over here and we have a simple print statement that is will be printing that otp is sent to the particular phone number and returning the confirmation result instance alone okay so let's go back to that function call it will be grabbing that instance over here in the temp variable right and now as soon as you click this submit otp uh, you also get a recapture that is the default one so let me just provide that right so now now you will be able to view this uh, send otp that is now you will be able to view this otp text field and also that send otp button will be removed and you will be getting the submit button right and inside the submit button is what we will be writing the logic or we will be calling the method for which we will be validating the otp with the firebase right and you can see here inside the on press event we will be calling a method called authenticate me which is written down on the same firebase auth authentication class right and this time we'll be sending that temp variable as well as the otp what the user have entered as a parameter right let's move on to this authenticate authenticate me function and this is the function which will check for the otp whether it is right or wrong that is which whether to authenticate the user or not right and for doing so we'll be making use of the user credential instance and also make use of the confirmation result which is passed as the parameter or which we got the parameter from this uh, return statement right so this confirmation result is passed and we'll be getting the same and make use of the confirm method pass in the otp what the user have entered this this line will authenticate that is will check for whether the, both the otps are right and if it is so it will be just displaying a single alert or text message in the console stating you have successfully authenticated so it will be uh, a bunch of data will be available inside this user credential variable that is whether the user is a new user or not whether uh, he has provided the right credential over the start date and multiple things a bunch of data will be available over here this is the credential user credential variable you can just check for any of this instance for now i will be checking for this is new user boolean variable so if it is a new user that is the phone number and the otp if the phone number is a new one you will be just printing this message or else if the user is already existing that is if an entry is already available in the firebase console for that particular phone number then you will be printing yeah, the user already exists right so that's it that's how you can authenticate the user with the help of otp with the help of firebase right well that's it guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye